Hello everyone, welcome to the very first session of the course Introduction to Basic Electronics. In today's session, we will cover the topics Basic Parameters of Electronics, RDNO Controller, IDE Software, Interfacing Electronic Components with RDNO Board, and we will see that how coding is done according to the hardware made. First is Parameters of Electronics. We have various parameters in electronics such as current, voltage, resistor, capacitor, diode, battery, and multimeter. We will discuss all these parameters one by one. Starting with the current, current is actually the rate of flow of electrons in a conductor. That means current actually shows that how much electrons are flowing through a circuit. Now, what are electrons? Electrons are basically the negatively charged particles that are responsible for the conduction of current. Electron is a sub part of atom. So, atom is a fundamental piece of matter which have three kinds of particles in it that are proton, neutron and electrons. So, this is the atom structure in which the red dots are shown which are known as the electrons as i told you that electrons are negatively charged particles and the electrons always revolve around the nucleus in the valence bands and protons and neutrons that is protons the positively charged particles and the neutrons are present in the nucleus of the structure next is conductor conductor is basically an object or you can say it is a type of material that allows the flow of charge or current in one or more direction for example you have an electric wire or any metallic wire that allows current to pass through it now our electrons always travel from negative terminal of your battery to the positive terminal, but the direction of current is opposite to the direction of electron. That is, the direction of current is from positive terminal to the negative terminal of your battery in a circuit. Now we have current. We have two types of current, that is AC and DC. AC stands for alternating current. Alternating current is actually the one which changes its direction and polarity at regular interval of time. As you can see in the first graph, the graph have two axes, first is amplitude and second one is time. So this wave is actually changing its polarity from plus to minus and also changing its direction so this one is your alternating current the supply you are getting or you can say the current with which your electrical appliances like refrigerators microwave ovens and your television work is alternating current or ac current now the second type is dc current dc stands for direct current which is electrical current that flows only in one direction not in two directions as in the case of alternating current dc current is usually used on in those applications where very much low voltage is required such as your watches the clocks and all those appliances which can be operated on the battery so battery is the device through which we can get dc current next is the concept of voltage voltage is actually the potential difference between two points voltage applies a force on the electrons to elongate in a particular direction and move in a conductor and we can provide voltage to a circuit with the help of a battery next is resistor resistor is actually an electrical component that has two terminals and it is used to limit the flow of current in a circuit. The resistor's ability is called resistance and it is measured in ohms and the symbol is also mentioned here. 
if we make an analogy to water flow through pipes then you can say that resistor is a thin pipe that reduces the water flow the symbol of a resistor is a zigzag line and the next image is the actual resistors that how actually resistors look like now in case of resistors we can actually calculate the value of the resistors because we have different types of resistor you can have three bands you can have four bands or even five to six bands in your resistors so this is actually the color coding through which we calculate the resistor value suppose in the image you can see that the yellow color is on the four number and the purple that is violet is on the seven and the third is your multiplier that is the red color and the last one is gold so from this you can say that four and seven are the two digits which will actually hold the value of your resistor and the third one is the multiplier that means you have to multiply that particular with the first two digits and the last band indicates the tolerance of a resistor now we will discuss about the capacitors capacitor is actually a device that stores electrical energy in an electrical field it is a passive electronic component with two terminals here passive electronic component means the one that does not have its own power source it takes power from the battery or some other electric source the effect of capacitor is known as capacitance just like we have different values of resistors we have different values of capacitors also as you can see the first picture in which we have these capacitors all having different values and you can identify them by looking at the pictures and on the second image you can see the symbol which we usually use for the capacitor next is diode diode is also a two terminal electronic component but it conducts current in only one direction that means if there is a idle diode it will give infinite resistance in one direction and zero resistance in the other direction usually we use diode to convert the ac current into direct current in diode we have two terminals anode and cathode anode is the positive terminal and cathode is the negative terminal next is battery battery is actually a device that is used to give power to the circuit battery is actually responsible for converting the chemical energy into electrical energy and it is used to produce dc current in a circuit now we have a most commonly used electronic measuring instrument that is known as multimeter multimeter is actually a instrument that combines several measurement functions in one unit you can measure voltage current and resistance with the help of a multimeter only that means you don't need separate measuring instruments for calculating the voltage current and resistance now we will move to our arduino controller so in this we will cover that what is arduino controller what is the programming for the arduino see electronic devices are becoming compact flexible and cheap that are capable of doing more function as compared to their predecessors that happened to cover more space turned out costly with the ability to perform fewer functions arduino uno is a very valuable addition in the electronics that consists of usb interface 14 digital input output pins 6 analog pins and 8 mega 328 microcontroller 
there are many versions of arduino boards introduced in the market like arduino uno arduino mega arduino nano it is actually a open source platform means the boards and the software are readily available and anyone can modify and optimize the boards for better fun functionality now what is ide ide is actually the software used for arduino devices which stands for integrated development environment which is free to use and required some basic skills to learn it it can be programmed using c and c++ language this is the arduino board that is the arduino human in which you can see that we have various pins available with us some are analog pins some are digital some are power pins so in this case in the case of arduino uno we have six analog pins 13 to 14 digital pins and few of the power pins power pins contain vin that is input voltage ground 5 volts 3.3 volts and reset now you have a button for the reset also that means if you want to start your program from the initial then you need to click this reset button then you have one usb to computer port in which you will connect your arduino at the one end at the other end you can connect the cable to the computer usb cable and we have one 7 to 12 volt dc input also that means you can directly plug it in the plug next is ide software so i told you earlier also that ide software is the one that is used for the programming of the arduino devices and ideally ide normally consists of at least a source code editor that means you can edit the code in it build automation tools and a debugger too debugger means you can actually find out the faults in your program now this is the ide platform that is this is how the arduino software looks like you can see various options in it file edit sketch tools help and in this next you can see a tick that is used for verify when you click on it then the second arrow is for compiling your sketch and you have for the uploading and on the right side you can see a magnifying glass which is actually known as serial monitor in case of this software and these are some commands that we usually use for writing the program in this session we will learn that how we can interface the led with the arduino in case of arduino there is a inbuilt led on the arduino board which is connected to the pin number 13 that is a digital pin of your arduino uno so in this what we have done is we have connected a uh, led with 13 pin of your arduino uno and we have used resistor also as i told you earlier also that resistor is actually used to limit the flow of current so what we have done in this is we have connected the negative terminal of your led with the ground of your arduino and the positive terminal is connected to the 13 pin of your arduino board with the help of this resistor i hope the connections are clear now this is the code for glow your led in which in the very first line that is const int led equals 13 you have actually defined that we have connected an led to the pin number 13 then we have void setup and void loop void setup is the one in which the code only runs once when you power on the board void loop is the one in which the program repeats again and again so in void setup we have defined pin mode led comma output that means 
we have used the led as output and in void loop you can see the commands digital write led comma high delay with a thousand then digital write led comma low delay with a thousand here thousand represents one second and digital write led comma high digital write led comma low means your led will first turn on and then it will turn off thank you i hope you like the session